EMS Consulting Group has been helping companies transform their businesses for over 20 years. In this video we will educate you about the 7 wastes, a major concept of lean manufacturing. The 7 wastes was a concept initially created by Teichi Ono, a key figure at Toyota often credited with the development of the Toyota production system. The wastes Ono identified were overproduction, waiting, transporting, inappropriate processing, excess inventory or storage, unnecessary or excess motion, and defects. Let's talk briefly about these wastes and what each of them means. Let's begin with overproduction. Overproduction is producing more material or information than the next downstream customer requires. Ono considered overproduction to be the chief waste since it amplifies many of the other wastes. Next, let's talk about waiting. Waiting does not add value to a process, yet many processes include waiting time. We could be waiting for information, waiting for material, waiting for another team member or machine to complete a process. In any case, it is waste. Next, we have transportation. Moving material or information from one place to another. While some transportation may be unavoidable within a facility, transporting material from one place to another does not add value. Inappropriate processing is the next waste, and this one is within the process itself. Inappropriate processing is utilizing the wrong tool or process to do the job or having a workaround in place. A good example of this might be using Microsoft Excel as a database. Another waste is excess inventory or storage. When we store information or material between processes, it is waiting. It does not become more valuable to the customer as it sits in storage, but it does take up valuable space that could be used for more productive purposes. It also costs money to hold material. Next we have the waste of motion. This is a people waste. Often we can observe people walking around the office or factory looking for tools, materials, or information. Our layout might be such that a lot of motion is required, but motion adds no value. Finally, we have the waste of defects. Defective product results in scrap or rework. Missing or inaccurate information often results in major delays while making corrections. Later on, in a book called Lean Thinking, an eighth waste was identified, underutilizing employee creativity and input. This is a separate type of waste, and it is closely related to the concept of respect for people. Leaders must engage the front line in improvement. This is what Kaizen is really all about. At EMS Consulting Group, building our clients' capability has always been our focus. We provide our clients with customized lean training, coaching, and facilitation support while helping them build the continuous improvement culture necessary. Over the years we have made learning less expensive and more flexible through our e-learning and virtual options while still maintaining our on-site capabilities. Contact us today at emsstrategies.com to learn more. At EMS Consulting Group, building our clients' capability has always been our focus.